Hello, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to Modded Terraria. We're here at the ocean doing some fishing. It's a blood moon. Too bad Journey's End isn't out yet. We can't fight that mollusk thing, but we got a little guppy and we're looking for the uh, old compass now. So I'm just going to stay here and fish for a while until we get this thing. I got a goop squid and it's apparently it's like a jellyfish swarm as well. So that's pretty cool. We got it. The old compass. Excellent. Okay, so let's turn this in right now. Thank you for your help. I really appreciate it. Good stuff. And we haven't, but we need five iron coins to get this and then it, he gets more stuff. So let me actually, we got five iron coins. Amazing. And calmness ring summons a friendly calm, calmness spirit. Oh, very nice. That's very nice. Uh, hmm. And that gives me calm, or we have a... Well, maybe. It probably does. Uh, we have a peace candle right there, but this probably causes calmness as well. Because it says it it's a calmness spirit. <laughs> so that's interesting. Power mask. Vanity item. Is that like power armor? It does look like the T145, TI40, whatever it is, from Fallout. A bone pickaxe, very nice, very nice, not gonna use it. Greater healing potions, we got 11 greater healing potions. Spear of despair, uh, the spear summons a sphere on hit that pierces through enemies dealing damage and returns to the player. Oh, I remember this. Okay, so we're going to use that, and we got four of these. Oh my god, look at that. Yeah. Spear of Despair, eh? Okay. Uh, go in there. I am going to make an entire, like, ore farm where we plant every kind of ore, you know? I think that would be a lot of fun. Boom. 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 Eventually. Not right now. And these greater healing potions, I mean... Sure. We'll use them. Why not? Let me go and fix this. Because yes, I noticed this too. I did after when I was looking at the video. Boom. Okay, so that's finished. Now we could just teleport out of here. And you know what? Let's just go to the Reach and fight Vine Rathbane right now. The bramble shall consume you. Ow, dude. Get out of here, punk. Now, let's see. So those are all my drops. I'm just going to get out of here. Because I only brought one summoner because I'm wishful thinking, right? Three, two, one. We still didn't get it. <laughs> no. No. How rare is that thing? I'm going to just keep farming him until we get it. Uh, so I can sell this and this. And then we're going to fight Desert Scourge again. But uh, we can buy summoners for this. They're 10 gold each. How much money do I have? I got a bunch. I'm going to buy five. And if I don't get it now, I'm going to... When we when I do my next stream of this, I'm going to just farm him until we get it. All right, guys. So I fought all five of the uh, Vine Wrath Banes and didn't get it, obviously. But I learned something that the, uh, yeah, these Drosorin, Drosorin Trappers have a chance to drop it as well. And it's just the Vine Wrath Husk that can drop it. Not even Vine Wrath Bane itself, but just the Husk. So we're gonna get a million of these Enchanted Leafs because I'm just sitting here with a Battle Potion. Uh, I don't know when these things spawn, if it's during the day. It's nighttime right now, though. But, uh, I haven't seen any. I'm just, it's because I'm using, like, a bunch of mods, too, you know? So we're getting things spawning here from other mods, like Pinky Mod. 
but uh so this might be something that I do. Wait, there's a Drosser and Trapper. Please drop it. <laughs> of course it didn't. There's another one over here. Come here. You know what? Get popped. Of course you didn't drop it. You drop Enchanted Leafs. We got it! Age- What? When did it drop? Oh my god. Finally, we we're able to make the Solus. Eventually, we'll make all the artifact weapons. Once I start getting keystones from fishing, especially auto fishing, which I'm going to make auto fishers and stuff. Anyway, boom. We got it. Murderous Soulless. 7% uh, extra damage, 4% speed, 3% critical strike, and it's rare. We got 4% uh, increased projectile velocity and an increase of 8% crit chance. Oh, dude, they explode. It only does 16 magic damage, but that's fine. Uh, I guess we're not going to use these viscous jellies yet. Because we have the Solus, which we're definitely going to use. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I like this. Look at that. Excellent. And it doesn't melt through mana too quickly. Like, this thing melts through mana pretty fast. Yeah. I mean, it's really good, too. Nice. Very nice. All right. Now, I'm going to go... Hey, Piggy. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let's check this out. But... Hey, Piggy. I'm sorry, Piggy. It's just you have something that I want. This does that much. This is fun, though. Oops. What about bombs? There you go. Take that. And then... Oh. Give me that money. Nine gold. Excellent. Alright, I'm gonna go to a forest biome with more battle potions and with these and hopefully get some cute slimes now. Finally, I got a cute slime. Summons a friendly cute pink slime. We got a pinky. We got a little pinky. Waifu. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, uh, I'm gonna sit here and... I'm not going to name her yet, but I'm going to see if we can get more because I still have two more Jelly Dales for now. And then we're going to turn in these quests because I think I could turn these in now from Juice Mod for killing the Eye of Cthulhu and the Eater of Worlds. Hello, chicken. Hey, don't touch me. Nice. All right, Aethys. Let's get out of here, good buddy. Uh, all right. See ya and... Let's see. So we ended up with a pinky. Little pinky one. Wait, hang on. <laughs> Let's go down here. So yeah, little pinky. And then we got the big rainbow slime. To go with the... We got a purple one early on, right? Oh, this is a joyous slime. Oh, it's a different one. So this is goober. We're going to keep Aethys with us for now, but uh, here, let me... Is it... We're going to use Aethys as our good luck charm. All right, boop, 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 get all the stuff in there. All right, good job taking down the eyeball with a mouth. Here, take this. All right, and then... Good job taking down the Eater of Worlds. Good thing it doesn't actually eat worlds. And we got the eyeball staff. Uh, rapidly shoots eyeballs. All right. We got binoculars, you know, whatever, I'm not going to use them right now. We got life crystals, which I cannot use for anything currently. These, a corrupt pommel. Striking an enemy with a melee weapon inflicts corrupted soul, dealing damage over time. Enemies that die with corrupted soul damages a nearby enemy for 25% of the corrupted enemy's max life. Ah, and inflicts corrupted soul again. And we have legendary with thorns... 5% damage versus max life foes, plus one light, plus one luck, and 4.5% max run speed and movement speed. Well, we're not really using much melee at the moment, uh, but we're going to switch back to melee or use more melee soon. <laughs>
That hurts. <laughs> Stop it. Give me these hearts. Alright. Uh, what's this over here? That's just piece a piece of my enemy's body. Boom. Seabound staff. Storm spray. Baron, we got annoying things. Aquatic discharge and that. Alright. No problem. Alright, guys. Since we didn't get the dune hopper, I made this earth yo-yo. I want to use a yo-yo. I've been told about this one uh, that I can turn into Mars actually. I should be able to turn that into Mars right now and yes after turning it into Mars you can actually here hang on oops you could turn it into Mercury after that with Hellstone Bars and then after that you could turn it into Venus and then after that turn it into Uranus and then after that turn it into Neptune and then after that, turn it into Saturn, which looks pretty cool. And then after that, turn it into Jupiter. And then after that, turn it into Sol at the very end of the crafting tree. That's a pretty cool thing. I like that. I like that you can, you know, uh, whatever. Uh, can we turn it into... No, we don't have... I don't think we have Hellstone yet. I mean, I have a little bit of Hellstone, but I don't think I have enough Hellstone bars. Uh... Just in case, let's see. Hellstone bars. I can make one. <laughs> Never mind. I changed these walls, by the way, so that they don't blend in with the well walls. I'll probably paint them gray or brown or something. And now we're going back to the the uh, sunken sea. And we got to fight the uh, giant clam. That is what I'm looking for. A giant clam. So we're going to stay down here. However long it takes. This yo-yo, I might just like switch it out until we get like the ability to upgrade it a little bit more. But this thing, this is my new favorite weapon. I love the Solus. And we'll be able to upgrade this throughout our entire playthrough. It's going to be nice. It's going to be very nice. Uh, let's go. Into the depths. And I got to try to keep my eyes open for... Uh, the goblin. I'm looking for the goblin as well. I don't think he's going to spawn down in here. But he might. Let's see. I just want to explore as much of this as possible. Oh. Alright. I want to make... We're not going in there again. <laughs> that was amazing. Totally amazing. Now we got a teal floater in there. And there's ore. Yeah. There's like a different type of ore. Uh, I guess I'll mine that. We'll see. Let me just work my way straight across over here. Sea prisms. Yeah, this is all sea prism. Nice. Uh, we'll add that. Look at that. Wow. Excellent. And dense moss. We'll keep uh, sea prisms on. Huh. It's kind of deadly, this this uh, portal being right here. This wormhole. It's not a good spot. <laughs> because I think uh, we're going to want to fight something in here eventually, probably. And okay, all this. Whatever. Give me that. I think that's the second godly trident I've gotten. Hmm. Well then, this is a good spot to build in. It is. This is a really nice spot to build in. I just have to be careful. Hobgoblin up there. Okay, I'm gonna actually... We'll dig straight down right here. I wanna grab all of these prisms. Yeah, sea prism. Or prism shards. Nice. Nice. And eventually I am going to build like a nice base right in here. This is a good, perfect spot for it. I just have to uh, kind of quarantine that wormhole. So I don't accidentally go into it. Ever. Never again. Well, it is nice that it's there. Because I could put a build around that. I could build around this thing. And then use that as like a natural teleporter 
to bring me to the uh, abyss. Because I do want to uh, connect this biome with the abyss and with the aquatic depths from Thorium mod. I want to connect all of these biomes together. So, right now, I'm actually... Oh, hello. A oh, trophic ray. Interesting. You're burning. Oh, hey, you go through tiles. Not anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna go back home real quick, dump all this stuff back home, and then come back with some uh, battle potions and stuff and see if we could find anything interesting in here. All right, guys, look at this. I'm just gonna drop these down here. Oh, man. There's a regenerating clam and a mutilator giant clam right over here. Uh, let me drop a couple more around here. Light this thing up and... Uh, okay, I'm just going to shoot this stuff down there. Oh, he teleports. Oh my god. It does a lot of damage and it's dead. Yes, we have freed you. Wow, you look awesome. Amidius, there may be monsters lurking in the darkness. Most unnatural monsters. Shell Shooter, Snap Clam, Sand Dollar, Way Washer, Coral Cannon, nice. Urchin Flail, Amidius's Trident, gains the power to shoot whirlpools after Skeletron has been defeated. Sweet. Magical Conk, alright, and then Help. There are rumors of ores that lay in latency. When you defeat certain bosses, you will undo the ancient magic which conceals those materials. Ah yes, the abyss. That trench is full of powerful creatures that could devour you in a heartbeat. I would explore the dungeon first. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And hey, we got this. So he should move into one of my houses. All right, good. That He looks so cool. Look at him. Nice. Now, hopefully you do move into one of my houses and you don't have to have a house in here. I hope not. Uh, let me pick that up. Boop. All right, I still have this stuff on me. I can might as well keep these two. All right. Yeah. So that giant clam almost killed me. Lots of damage. Uh, we still have this on. I'm actually going to take that set off. And then there's... Here's another biome that we can't access quite yet. It spawns next to the, uh, <laughs> next to the sunken sea. And I didn't take that chest, but I'm not going to quite yet. It's fine. Let me get out of here for now. We've uncovered a good bit of this. Let's see if he moves in anywhere. Oh, wow. I never noticed that I had this on. Oh, Amidius's blessing. You are blessed by Amidius. Let's you breathe underwater, even in the abyss. Just don't get hit. Oh, wow. How... That's what that is. But... Huh. Interesting. So just talking to him or being near him, he casts it on you or something? Because it only lasts for eight more minutes. Hmm. Alright. I wonder, can we probably get more giant clams that spawn down there? Because I'd like to see if it drops anything. Uh, so before we get out of here, I just want to paint the, uh, yeah, let me just buy paint since he's right over here. Oh, wait. Boop. Uh, hello. You. Let's see. Let's try painting it brown or gray. Let's try gray. Gray looks nice on that type of thing. All right. Gray always looks nice here. Yeah, see? Good stuff. Nice gray stone wall. The blue actually looks nice, too. So I might unpaint. <laughs> I might unpaint to this afterwards. Although the gray does look nice. I just want it. I changed it from mudstone brick wall just because I wanted it to contrast with this. It was a little too similar. In which, like, the blue actually makes this stand out a lot more. So I may end up keeping the blue. We'll see. Or just maybe I'll unpaint this and just have this be brown. You know? 
I can unpaint. It's luck. See if I just do that. That actually looks nice, I think. In the other world, it was gray. This world, we could probably get away with it being brown. Gray and brown, the most interesting colors to build with in video games. <laughs> it's why, like, tons of video games are all gray and brown. Anyway, um, yeah, I'll, I may end up messing with this some more. The paint, there's a paint spot right here. Where'd my, here, there we go. All right, guys. So yeah, I, I didn't redo this. I'll be doing this soon. This is the next thing I want to work on building. Just getting a more permanent situation here. Or actually, I'm going to move all these signs to a large build anyway. We got to get started on like a really large build soon. Very soon. And I think this will be it. This will be the first one I do. Hmm, like a... Like a Temple of Time type of thing. Temple of... I don't know. I'll come up with a better name for it at some point. For now, before we get out of here, I gotta say thank you to Suckerman7GM for being the first person to tell me... Uh, check Sunk... Oops. Well, I guess it should be capital. Sunken Sea for Giant Clam. Yes. And then, is he still down there? He probably is. No, he moved out. Good, good. So he's up here. Yes, he is. Nice. Very nice. And yeah, I want to, you know, get everyone out of here. Who's this? I haven't even seen this person. Hang on. Look at you. You look cool. Give me more help. Have you heard of the Brimstone Crags? It was once a grand kingdom. Not too different from my own. However, it also met a similar fate. I would not advise going down there unless you seek a painful death. And yeah, I need to buy some of this stuff and check. We'll buy all of it. It's pretty cheap. We'll go check out this stuff next time. Uh, and you, Buddhist, did you know that a blessing by the gods has allowed you to craft gold and platinum crowns with any gem, not just rubies? Really? Mystic lands. Okay. Huh. Darkness repeater, purple blaze, darkness blade. Midnight Shield, Blood Moon Sigil, that's cool. How much is it? One gold? Okay. Midnight Knife. Interesting. Very interesting. Alright. Anyway, for now guys, I gotta get out of here. I will see you very soon in the next episode. And uh, I want to do some... I want to get started on some building. Like, we've done a little bit. We've done a little bit. I'm gonna do a stream soon where I really uh i don't know work on the surface of the world and kind of getting a good idea about where I'm, where i want to build certain things and then really get started on that all right but for now thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you next time peace